Hello. Hi guys. Happy Valentine's Day. Oh yeah, I never said that in my video. I didn't say we happy Valentine's Day. We said we Valentine. Oh yeah, I guess so. So I guess if you clicked on this video, that means you chose yes. We are Valentine. <laughs> so, um, as Sarah said in her last video that I poorly described, um, we're going to be using clay and making little uh, dishes like for jewelry, like to put your rings in, to put your necklaces in, in the shape of hearts, or you can make it any shape. So also, so Sarah obviously put out the video um, of us baking a cake in the shape of a heart. And then Nick is also posting a video of the Valentine's Day drink at Dunkin' Donuts. What's it called? Pink Velvet Macchiato. Pink Velvet Macchiato. You recreated it at home, so check out our videos. Yes. So, we have some Crayola air dry clay. I've never used this type of air dry clay. I've always used, um, I don't know what it's called, a different kind. So we're trying the Crayola one today because it's cheaper. So, yes, and I also have some questions from my Instagram story that I asked. And yeah. So we're gonna be making these dishes and answering some questions. Let's let's just get started. Let's just get right <laughs> into it. All right. So, Miss Artiste, let me know how do we start. Right, I'll take um, take a chunk. Take a chunk. Have you ever done the pottery where it's like on a wheel and you actually spin it? Mm -hmm. You have. I did that in high school. I oh. took a ceramics class. I really enjoyed it. I want to do ceramics again. So. Maybe this can be my pretend ceramics glass. So we're just gonna like roll it in a ball first, then mold it? I guess so, I'm kinda just doing something. Okay, so first question, who got in the most trouble as a kid? I'm gonna say you. <laughs> what? What did I do? I just don't remember me like getting in trouble as a kid. <laughs> I don't remember doing anything. Maybe neither of us. As a kid or like, I think not like, like high as school as a kid. Yeah. Uh, I think we were all good kids, right? Yeah, I agree. We didn't really get into any trouble. Yeah. I mean, I got stuck in a tree once or twice, but I don't know if that's trouble. <laughs> that's a different kind of trouble. That's, that's a, a different kind of trouble. Kind of trouble. Just, <laughs> trouble for mom to have to come out and get me. It was me. Oh, you got I me. I climbed up the tree you. and got you. You got me through the tree. You have to tell that story now that you brought it up. Ugh, okay, so, so one day, well, for a lot of my childhood, I loved climbing trees and we had this huge pine tree next to our house and I thought I could climb to the top of it, but I couldn't and I got too scared halfway through and I was screaming, um, help, help mom 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 and sarah came out and she helped me get down i'm pretty sure you were like completely by yourself too I was like by you were myself. just one day you were like hmm, i'm gonna go outside and climb this tree Literally. and like you didn't tell anyone and it was scary so i got down <laughs> i don't even know how Let's i helped see. you i'm not sure i need to yeah, get a knife or something besides try and climb down. Sarah's yeah, like, she didn't okay. even, yeah, it's not like she climbed up to get me. Like, <laughs> I was I gonna do like carry you down? <laughs> no. Whatever it's called, medevac, the helicopter, <laughs> you drop down the uh, fireman's pole. I don't know how big mine should be. What's your favorite color at the moment? Um, well, I feel like lavender, like purple, mm -hmm. but I'm also feeling like like the sage green or like matcha mm -hmm. green. Which is so. a funny story because if you watched our cake video, we tried to make it lavender and it ended up green. So. Yeah. I guess it worked out in our favor. My favorite color is pink. Which leads us into another question on that list, <laughs> which is, do you like pink? <laughs> so I didn't know if when we were asked, do you like pink? Do you, do you think that, that means the singer pink? 
Like, so what? Yeah. Her? Or the color pink? I think they just meant the color. I think we like both. We like the cigar pink. I remember mom, we grew up, mom loved pink. Oh yeah. Her, on our iTunes. Um, always pink. There was always pink. pink. IPod. Literally. Um, pink iPod. So yeah, we like both pinks <laughs> in this house. How's yours going? Bad, but like kind of good. I think it looks good. This is what I'm doing so far. It's just like not even and kind of lumpy. That's all right. It adds character. Mm -hmm. Another question. Um, where are our music tastes different and the same? Um, I think our music tastes aren't too far off, but kind of a little different. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Agreed. Um, I feel like um, we all had different like stages in our lives with music. For sure. Um, like you with Lana Del Rey. Right. Me with my emo phase. Yes. Um, <laughs> and I don't know. Like, I feel like we definitely have some music that's very different. Mm -hmm. Like, you listen to like Taylor Swift. Do you still listen to Taylor Swift? I do still listen to Taylor Swift. I don't really like Taylor Swift, but that's fine. You must have not heard her new album then. <laughs> her new albums are good. I think you stopped during like the I knew you were trouble, like that era. Which is valid. I mean, we did make little videos of ourselves singing yeah. to that song, so. Her songs are so good. But yeah, I do like Taylor Swift. I do, I do. What music that I listen to would you say that you don't like? You like a lot of that like chill rap. I don't know how to describe it. Like I listen to like Frank Ocean. Yeah, I don't really listen to that music all that much. Is that R&B? Well, Frank, no, um, Frank Ocean is, but like I like Career. Just, just like chill. Yeah. I don't know, my chill music is more like Hosea type of thing, you know? Mm. And Bon Iver. Yeah, I yeah. have his album on vinyl. Do you really? Yeah. No, I think he's like French. <laughs> it's French. <laughs> also, it's been like multiple people. Yeah, it's six oh, people. Oh, I thought it was just one guy. No, I think it's like six people. Could be wrong. Look at my heart. Another question. What's your favorite movie? <laughs> What's your favorite movie? I'm not sure what yours is. Um, I've had a lot of favorite movies over the years. I used to be in love with like Skyfall, the James Bond movie. Mm. I, that would always be my answer when I was asked. And I do still love that movie, but Good music I in that think one too. 10 Things I Hate About You, definitely up there. Um, I have a poster in my dorm at school. I also have a um, Spirited Away poster, so I guess that too. I love those movies, the studio Ghibli movies. And I also have a Kiki's Delivery Service one, which is my favorite Ghibli love film. Love Kiki's Delivery Service. Grew up on Kiki's Delivery Service. Is Ponyo Studio Ghibli? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. What about you? Um, I don't know if I have a favorite movie. I feel like the last movie that I watched in theaters yeah. that I was like, wow, was pre-COVID, and it was The Greatest Showman. Yeah. So <laughs> you kind of liked. I mean, you didn't really pay attention, but when we watched Train to Busan. I love that movie. You enjoyed movie. that. I love that I movie I paid too. attention, just not at the beginning because I thought it was going to be completely different. When I heard like zombie movie, I was like, Ugh. Yeah. But for it was really it was good. Really I'm glad good. I you guys that. Um, so yeah, um, I think the greatest film of all time is The Greatest Showman. <laughs> I'm kidding. Did he go on tour after that singing? I don't Wait. know, but I really Wait, not Hugh Grant. Yeah. Hugh Jackman. Oh. Hugh Grant is someone else. Would you have gone to the, um, the live Oh, absolutely. Show? Absolutely. That's great. Um, that's like all I can think of right now for my movies. Great soundtrack too. So beautiful good. film. Beautiful film. <laughs> you still, to this day, sing the soundtrack. Yeah. I think that was the first album that I downloaded on um, Spotify. I figured out that you could like download albums and I was like, I'm downloading this. <laughs> I have nothing else downloaded but the greatest showman soundtrack. <laughs> to this day. That's a lie. No, that's a lie. But at the beginning, yeah. Well, that's... Very interesting. And I think I accidentally downloaded like a weekend album and I didn't know how to remove it. And so I was just playing like Greatest Showman and the weekend <laughs> album over and over again. And I was like, how do you stop this? Greatest 
I figured it out though. What is your favorite childhood memories together? Oh, we were super creative children. Mm -hmm. And I think that shows in Emily's art today. Oh, yours is so much better than mine. This is my first time looking at yours and I'm like, what the heck did Thanks. I do? So, my, I think our favorite, was it favorite childhood memory? Mm -hmm. If we weren't creating games and music videos and things like that, we were playing them. So like playing Nancy Drew, like seriously favorite childhood memories. Um, and just like making music videos and <laughs> playing games on the Wii together, like Just Dance, things like that. Super Mario Galaxy, oh, or it's Mario Party on the GameCube. What is that, isn't that what it was called? I think that was Wii Party. We played, oh no, Mario Party. Yeah. With the, with the game board. Mm -hmm. That was the best game ever. But yeah, it was so fun. Um, yes, I miss Mario Galaxy, I miss Nancy. I mean, we, st we still play Nancy. We need Zero. to play that soon. Yes, we are in the process of playing, which one are we playing? Shadow- Secret at Shadow Ranch. Shadow Ranch with the ghost horse. <laughs> but if you do have any recommendations or just tell us which ones are your favorite or they already did that in the video, but. I got a few, but you can really tell who's the artist here. <laughs> no, yours is so good. Your walls are just much higher. There not be another situation where I broke the cake. You get two broken hearts. <laughs> Should we use like a spatula or something? Perfect. Oh. So here's each of our finished dishes. Mine's huge. Yeah, maybe mine's too small, but. No, I, do you want to switch? No. <laughs> My fingers stabbed yours on the side. I oh. hope there isn't a line. Okay. Nothing a little water can't fix. Mm -hmm. So, we will be coming back in 24 hours to paint these beautifully. And answer a few more questions. And answer a few more questions. So, we'll see you tomorrow. So, what can they see? Yeah, kind of. Okay. So, we're gonna start painting. Yay! Okay, let's go. <laughs> so, what are you gonna, what's your thought process for yours? I feel like I'm just gonna paint it pink. I think but I'm gonna I do like a light should pink. Should I add too. something to it? I was thinking I was gonna do light pink with like polka dots. Ooh, cute. With either like a darker pink polka dot or. <laughs> like black polka dots or gold or white. polka dots. Yeah. The first question is, what's your idea of a perfect date? And should it be like first date, like already in a relationship? Yeah, because I feel like they are, they might be a little different if you already even know someone, have known them for a while versus like you're just getting to know someone. I have an idea of a date that's like when you're already together with someone that I want to do what sometime it? in the future. But, um, I want like a picnic. I think that's so cute. Yeah, I've always wanted to do that. I don't think I've done that. Like a picnic and then, please don't make fun of me. I know I'm an artist. I'm not good at like mixing paint. There's a way that you're supposed to mix paint, but I just go like this. Yeah. So people are gonna hate on me, but it's no, okay. it's fine. Um, I think picnics are so cute and just like bring a lot of food. Mm -hmm. And you could, I've seen ones where people like paint. People like make bracelets for each other. You could watch a movie and a picnic. I think there's a name for that, like sip and paint or something like that. Or they have classes like, you know, when you go and you like drink wine and paint, like kind of like that, but a picnic version, <laughs> that'd be fun. I think the picnic date is such a cute idea. And like dressing up for a picnic is cute. Yeah, take photos. Yeah, that's a really cute date idea. I want someone who's gonna like take photos of me and like take cute pictures together. And a picnic's a perfect place to do that. We should do a picnic once it gets warm. Yeah. Yeah, I don't You're need like, a relationship. Yeah, I, I guess I'll settle for my sister. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need a relationship to have a cute picnic. I can do it with my sister. Yeah. <laughs> um, so sad. Yeah, what do you think? Yeah, I think perfect. my yes. idea of a perfect date right now would involve... Let's pretend that COVID doesn't exist. Yes, definitely, yeah. I miss going out to eat like in restaurants so much. Mm -hmm. 
um, and I also miss like bowling and stuff like that. I know bowling, like some people just hate it, I some love people bowling. love it. But I think something where you do like something competitive or an activity and then food involved mm. is always fun. Um, or even like a movie, so like bowling and dinner or like, I love going to drive-in movies. That's COVID safe, you sit in your car. We have that. Have you ever gone to the one near us? Oh. Yeah, so just like some fun competitive activity and a dinner is nice. I think it's also like a cute date if like, like you don't need to go to a fancy restaurant, like just getting McDonald's, like you can totally. make that fun. Like yeah. Or just like make food at home or something. I think like baking together would be cute. Yeah. That'd be cute. Oh, there was also one that I thought of the other day when I saw the question. Remember I told you about it. Um, I'm not very good at explaining, but it's like go to the thrift store or something mm. and get like an outfit for each other, either like an actual cute outfit or like mm -hmm. an ugly outfit and buy it and make them wear it. I was thinking of doing something like that on my channel. Yeah. And like going to a restaurant or something in your outfit. That's actually a really good idea. Another fun idea is just go to like a Barnes and Noble or the library and then just yeah. like read together and get a Pick coffee. Pick out a book for each other and Yes, that is such it. a good idea. Pick out a book for each See, other, get a coffee. That's so fun. Why am I so good at coming up with dates? Yeah, you are. <laughs> should do a video about that. <laughs> Date ideas. <laughs> good question. Very good question, especially for Valentine's Day. Yeah, fits the theme. Also, another one that fits the theme for Valentine's Day is what's your favorite Valentine's Day candy? And is there a specific candy that's only Valentine's Day? I guess the hearts. Mm, the candy hearts, yeah. Mine. Or like these type of things. Sorry, go ahead. No time. These like Russell Stovers, I think they're called. Mm. Not really a fan of those. There's always like the orange cream and like the strawberry cream. Mm -hmm. I just want one of those, but just Reese's. <laughs> I want a Reese's Valentine's Day. Yeah. Heart. I don't know if you could tell or not, but we just took like a 20 minute break <laughs> to let them dry. That's what it looks like so far. Cute. I think on mine, I was gonna do like cheetah print, but I think I'm just gonna do like gold polka dots everywhere. I don't really know what I'm gonna do with mine. I might write something. Actually, I might make it look like a like a cake with like the little things on the side. <gasps> that would be adorable. Can you pass me the um, cheese pins? Um. So another question. Um. Do you prefer morning or night? Can I go first? I can go first. Not really. <laughs> um, I prefer the mornings, but I'm not really a morning person. But like, I love the mornings. I love having a fresh start. I love a cup of coffee, you know, just the morning vibes I love, but it's really hard for me to wake up in the morning. Yeah. But I do prefer mornings, so. Yeah, in the morning, if you aren't tired, it's really fun to be awake in the morning. Yeah. Well, my answer to this question, um, I, <laughs> you don't have to expose your sleep schedule. You can just say what you prefer. No, it's okay. I'll, I'll expose myself. Um, I don't really, s it's not that I don't sleep. I sleep a lot. I just you sleep while everyone else is awake. Yeah. So my brain is kind of weird recently. Like I can't fall asleep until like, 4 a.m. <laughs> so I like sleep in really late. Um, and I think the reason why my sleep schedule is like all messed up is because um, I have school yeah. and in the UK or in London, it's um, five hours ahead. So when it's, when I have a 10 a.m. class, it's 5 a.m. here. You know, I have to be up and I have 10 a.m. classes twice a week. So I kind of just either don't sleep, like I pull an all-nighter. Um, until 5 a.m. Until 5 a.m. Or I just go to bed at like four and just have an hour of sleep, which sometimes is worse. Um, so my, and then after that, I'll like sleep for five hours. 
So, that. So I don't know. So my answer to this question is morning and night are the same thing for me. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's actually the morning, but it's still nighttime for me. I feel like if you didn't have school at 5 a.m., you'd be on a somewhat more normal sleep yeah, I'd schedule. probably get up like no later than 11. Yeah. Um, go to sleep at like two. Mm -hmm. Things like that. My brain just still stays awake, so it's Even hard. when you're not on your phone? Yeah. Yeah, that's hard. I know some people, it's just so hard for them to fall asleep, and I know it's not fun. And, like, melatonin doesn't really work. Yeah. I think... I don't know. I don't know why I'm just, like, talking about this. This is not really even the question. But, yeah. So, I don't really know what I prefer. Because it's not fun to stay up late like that. And it's not fun to be tired all the time. So... Say, <laughs> say you were on like a normal sleep schedule. Mm. What do you think you would prefer? Like, yeah, being a night owl or waking up early. Like, what do you generally like? Um, night owl. Yeah, I kind of like having like alone time to myself. Like being around family and, and friends and stuff. If it wasn't COVID, mm -hmm. but um, would be, it'd still be fun during the day. But I need everyone needs some alone time. I feel like night. Of course. I feel like some people just like get their most like creative thoughts at night and just work better at night and some people just yeah. start in the morning so yeah i do usually get a lot of my artwork done at night and i'm never up with in the morning so nighttime is my answer to that so now um i'm just gonna show you guys us working on our dishes it's probably gonna be like a time lapse um so enjoy that and we'll come back after to show you the final product. Yes. We should actually put that in our bathroom or something for yeah. Julie. I can't really see, but the side I tried to make it look like a, a frosted cake. It's just a little like, what would you call that? Just like um, little swoops. Yeah, like piping. Yeah. And mine, I just did some gold polka dots and a gold little border. Um, yeah, I think it came out all right. It's kind of cute. It's cute. I definitely like Emily's better though. <laughs> I, I was contemplating writing something on it. Um, I could write on it in the future. So yeah, once it's more Comment dry. something down below if you want to of something you think I could write in it. Something funny, something cute. We'll see. So yeah. So these are our finished dishes. And thank you so much for asking the questions. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Thanks for spending Valentine's Day with us. Yes. Bye. Bye.